Today, we're back with another 10 package mail day filled with all sorts of variety. Let's see what's inside. All right, what's going on YouTube? CardFlex2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back with another mail day. But before we get into that, make sure when this video is over, you guys are checking out the 50K subscriber giveaway video. We just recently dropped on our channel. We did a 50 packs for 50K video last week. And then we dropped the 50K giveaway video earlier this week. So make sure you guys check that out. And don't forget, if you have not already subscribed, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. Let's get into the mail day. So we've got 11 packages here, all sorts of different stuff. You guys know the deal. Always like to have a good bit of variety in these mail days. Now this one I believe is a Beckett, a uh, couple Beckett cards I had re, like reholdered. Sent these in to our friends uh, DK Cards down in Dallas. Got these taken care of for us. Should be four cards, I believe. Yup. I don't remember which cards they were, but I know there's four of them. All right, so we've got a Griffey 8. This this case was destroyed. Looked like a cat clawed it. Uh, got a BGS 8, 89, Upper Deck, Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie. Again, one of the most iconic cards of all time. Then you've got a Dansby Swanson Orange uh, Diamond, or Orange Inception Patch Auto, number 10 out of 25. This is one of the cases where like the label for Beckett was like all the way down here. Um, and again, Beckett doesn't charge a ton to reholder these. I think we paid like 15 bucks a card. wasn't wasn't super expensive. Two more of a Barzil Young Guns 95 True Gem. Again, True Gem meaning all four. Subgrades are nine fives. That would be a true gem. And then a very nice one here. You got a Jeter. This is from 99 Tops. This is an All Tops Mystery Finest Refractor BGS 10. Uh, every BGS 10 is 0.5 from a black label because in order to have a 10, you have to have three tens. In order to have a black label 10, you have to have all four tens. So uh, maybe one day we'll send this in and have it. You can do what's called graded card review, where Beckett will review the card in the graded holder, see if it needs change at all, uh, can see if it would possibly affect the corners, get it to a black label. Black labels are super tough, but also I think super desirable. So four, uh, four cards we've already owned, but good to get those back. All right, next is from Paul. Don't know what this is. Right. I'm honestly not sure what this is. See some hockey cards there. Got a lot of a McDavid Metal Universe on top. Some eBay purchase maybe. Oh wow, sick. There's some cool extras I don't know much about. Like, I know that's the clear cut. Jared McMahon. Uh, but I bought this on... I bought this on eBay. I took a chance on this. There wasn't a ton of comps. Um, I paid pretty strong for this. I paid over $1,000 for this card. It's a McDavid Precious Metal Gems Green Auto out of 10. Couldn't find... A, again, couldn't find a lot of comps on it. Was doing some digging on Terapeak. And saw so this is the All Stars Auto. I I feel like again hockey fans or hockey collectors correct me if I'm wrong, but this feels awfully similar to like a Mosaic debut versus like the Mosaic base rookie, or like a Prism Emergent compared to like the Prism base rookie. So it seems less desirable than the true the true base auto. But I saw like a base auto. I, I want again this has been probably four weeks three weeks. I want to say it did like three grand. Three or four grand, so I paid like twelve hundred for this. Um, just the precious metal gems, like the PMG stuff, is super desirable. It's definitely one of the more expensive McDavid autos I've ever bought. 
I don't feel like I'll get absolutely crushed on it, and I feel like it's got a little bit of potential. So probably one of those high-risk, high-reward type plays, but David, in my eyes, is, uh, you know, a, a GOAT. He's just dominant. Best hockey player in the world. So uh, grab this. Not sure what I'll do with it. May look to may look to grade it. We'll see. Uh, super hard set to grade, but again, being able to, to grab a McDavid PMG auto, I thought that was a cool opportunity. So grab that. All right, next package. This is from Josh. Let's see what we got in here. Double bubble mailer inside a team bag and package. A plus. Love it. All right, this one is going to be. Oh, sweet. Bought this on eBay. Thought this was a cool buy. Not sure if I'll keep it graded. I haven't really decided. Uh, but it's a Chase Young. This is the classics. This is the chrome. Black 101, Chase Young, paid 100 bucks for it. Thought that was cool. Chase Young was awesome at Ohio State. One of my favorite Buckeyes I've ever watched play. Uh, just dominate. Uh, just dominate at Ohio State. So grab that. Again, not sure what I'll do with that. May end up moving it because it's not an Ohio State jersey. But for now, I was like, eh. If we decide to keep it, we decide to keep it. All right, so next package. It's like an eBay one with a receipt. Oh, yeah. This is by far the most I've paid for an Eli Apple card. But if you know my PC, you'll know that this was this was one I, I really wanted. So this is from 2016 Contenders Draft Picks. This is the college championship ticket one of one. Again, if you followed us on IG, YouTube, wherever for uh, a reasonable amount of time, you know that the one-on-one contenders draft picks and the one-on-one prison draft picks, Ohio State stuff, is probably some of my favorite stuff to collect. Just the true championship ticket rookie autos. I actually picked up the Cardale Jones one recently as well. Um, but this was, again, just too cool to pass up. So this will go in the PC. I think I paid near $200 for this. Uh, probably more than I should have for Eli Apple. But, again, it was just one of those cards I wanted. So... Was, uh, was really looking forward to getting this in the mail and adding this one to the PC. All right, we got another one. This one's from Brian. Looks like another eBay purchase. So this could be all sorts of different things. Hmm. Interesting. Must have missed this message. So let's see this, and then I'll talk about that if need be. It's not bad. It's just... Oh, no, this is cool. Hmm. Well, that's odd. I should probably get back to him on this. Uh, so it says, Hi, I wanted to get this shipped out to you, but I didn't hear back from my eBay message. Uh, I noticed the card I posted had to scratch, so I wanted to send you a replacement. So I just sent both. I'm working on a list of everything else I have to sell. Look forward to working with you. Thanks, Brian. So I bought a Desmond Ritter auto, right? It was bought on an eBay auction, was bored one night, grabbing some stuff on eBay, bought it, and he sent me a replacement card. He said it has a scratch on it, but I didn't see the message. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely noticeable. You can, it's probably hard to see it with the overhead shot, uh, but it runs from here to here. Runs through the card diagonally, right here. So, but Ritter sells well in Columbus, being Cincinnati, right down the road. So I got to work out something with him. That was a wow, way to go above and beyond. Like that's crazy. You definitely don't see that, especially when I slacked and didn't respond to the message fast enough. Props to Brian. All right, this is from another Brian. Yeah, spelled differently, actually. Oh, I think this is an eBay purchase. Alave. This is the Bowman Invicta Auto. This is the inserts from, uh, from Bowman University. I didn't pay a ton for this. Uh, probably just add this to the PC. Alave came to the shop once. Was such a nice guy. Like, could not have been more down to earth. Really, uh, really hopeful he succeeds in the NFL. But... 
Gotta love getting cheap PC cards like this of all time Buckeyes. Yeah. Love it. It was a beast at Ohio State. This one could be tricky to open because I don't. I think the card's right here, and I don't want to absolutely smoke the card. Yeah, it is. Looks like the receipt. Oh, another eBay purchase. Howard Hopalong Cassidy on card auto from Press Pass. Look how bold that auto is. This is from like 2006, I think. Yeah, 2006. This was again 2006. If you know my story, this was right when I got into cards like the Reggie Bush, Vince Young, Matt Liner days. So I remember ripping this kind of stuff back then, looking for those guys. Um, so on card, bold auto, high State legend. Got that for 26 bucks. All right, so I got some more to go. This is actually a cool one. Speaking of 06, this is actually pretty cool. This is what I think this is. 99% positive that's what this is. Yeah, it is. I saw this on eBay and it was just, again, it's, uh, I love to say, you know, collect what you like. This is a collect what you like. 06, I got into it. Reggie Bush, Matt Liner, Vince Young, AJ Hawk, Lendell White, Santonio Holmes. Like we could go on the list forever. Uh, but Reggie Bush, man, when like, Back in the day when he was a rookie, he was one of the guys I wanted. This is a second year Reggie Bush, which I believe would make this a rookie game used jersey. It is a one of one platinum auto from Top Triple Threads. Top Triple Threads, if you don't know, was one of the cooler products back in the day. Like they've got some crazy stuff in Triple Threads. It was Tops makes it for baseball still, but it was an incredible football product. Uh, I paid like hundred and twenty five dollars for this. Uh, that's the price of you know, what's a what's a Herbert PSA nine Prism do? About a hundred bucks, so not far off from that. Uh, again, is this a, a card I expect to have a ton of value fifteen years from now? No, not really. But you know, if I told younger Ryan that we'd own this card one day again, it's just the kind of the story of uh, you know uh, where I started in the hobby and being able to buy cards like this now and add these to the collection. It just, it's, it's fun to see it when you go through a box and be like, yep, yeah, I remember liking this one or liking Reggie when I was younger and first came in the league. He just, he was electric. So to be able to buy a card like this now, is cool. And, uh, just, you know, remember why you started. All right. And then this one's from Elena. Not sure what this is. Looks like an eBay purchase. Oh, yeah, I got this cheap, cheap. Obi sells well in Ohio. I got this cheap, cheap. Be curious to see what his future looks like in New York. But you got an Obi Toppin rookie ink auto from Hoops. Any of you guys think is... We were talking about this on Car Talk the other day. Do you guys think Obi Toppin is part of the Knicks' pl like plans for the future? Like, is he going to be a Nick a while? Uh, they got a lot of young talent on the team, right? Um, who's, who's staying? Who's going? Like, I just... I hope Toppin has a bright future in the NBA. I would love to see it in New York. I'm just, there's a lot of young talent on that team. And the, I think the Knicks at some point are going to trade for some superstars. They're going to be able to get people to, to, to the team. Uh, I heard we were talking on Cartex. Somebody mentioned possibly Donovan Mitchell. Guys, young talent like this ends up getting moved in a lot of those deals. So be curious to see what happens with OB in New York. All right, and then we got this. I think this, this is from a guy. Redbeard. I think this, I think. I know what this is. So, Redbeard Sports Cards on IG actually has helped us with a lot of our. Have you ever seen our show setups? Helped us with all of our table skirts and banners. He's helped us get all those created. It actually turned out really, really nice. So it's a shirt. And Brian, thanks for being one of the best people in this hobby. Hope you enjoy the shirt. Hope to see you at a show soon. Brian, a.k.a. Redbeard. My guy. Nice. New era t-shirt. Love that. I mean, quality. Love that. Simple logo. Red in red. Very cool. I love this. Hey, look at that. That's super cool. Check out this. Check out the size tag. It's actually a pretty well done shirt. 58 Tops Jim Brown's one of my favorite uh, all-time cards too. Love that. Got the new era tag. 
right? They got Redbeard sports cards with a PSA, Jim Brown, large. Very cool. It says Jim and Tim, but I don't think there's any Jim Brown 58 Tops 10s. Then you got the lo his logo on the back there. That's very cool. Very well, uh, very well done t-shirt, I must say. There's a lot of effort in that t-shirt. Not just like a stamp a logo on it. And a nice note. Very cool. All right, and then last but not least, another Brian. This is our third Brian. What are the odds? Three Brian's in one million. We got 11 packages. Man. Is Brian like the most popular name? It's kind of wild. Bang. All right, ending with a uh, baseball Hall of Famer. How about a Reggie Jackson on-card auto from Flawless number two out of five? This is from 2016 Flawless and, of course, is game used. Love the dual patches. I mean, just look how clean this is. I understand it doesn't have a logo. I totally get that. But Flawless is the brand for football and basketball. Reggie Jackson's an all-time guy. Game used patches. On-card auto. Two is my number. Two out of five. I mean, just uh, kind of a no-brainer decision. This was under 200 bucks. I think it was under $150 as well. Uh, but thought that was a cool addition of Mr. October to the collection. So yeah, 11 packages. We got some cool notes. Connor McDavid, uh, a bonus Desmond Ritter auto situation. That was a very well done. Uh, Obi Toppin, Reggie Jackson, all sorts of different stuff. As always, a lot of variety. Again, make sure you guys check out the 50K giveaway video if you have not already, giving away some stuff there and trying to solicit questions for the national. As that is coming up, we're going to be working on a preparing for the national series. So if you have questions you want answered about the national, make sure you guys check that out. But for now, guys, that is all I've got. Peace, guys.